Welcome back to the show. It is now time to go into the NWA. And of course, like I said earlier in the show, the big news for the NWA from this past week is that Adam Pearce is once again the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, defeating Brent Albright at Glory by Honor 7. So um, Brent Albright, no longer the champ, Adam Pearce is now a two-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion. He joins a very exclusive group of men who have held that prestigious title more than once. Now, there is a big show coming up this weekend for the NWA, particularly NWA Southwest in Bulch Springs, Texas. Um, here is the card. The main event, the NWA Southwest Tag Team Championship, will be defended. The Texas Regulators, Trash, and Widowmaker defend the gold against the Maniac Messiahs of Austin Rhodes and Ryan Davidson. The team that wins that match will meet the NWA Oklahoma Tag Team Champions when NWA Southwest and NWA Oklahoma have a uh, joint show together, which is going to be a very interesting match. The uh, Star Wrestling Federation heavyweight title is on the line. Ruben Rivera defends the title against Tim Swiney. James Crow faces Wade Garrett. Cervante will face John Julian. And the SWF tag team titles are on the line. TAB, Tangerine, and Buttercup defend the gold against Slade Craven and Dirty Craig Jericho. And Action Jackson against M. Cortellis. Now, another big event coming up for the NWA as it comes up on my computer is Saturday, October the 4th in the Texas area again, where on that day, if you are there, the nature boy Ric Flair will be making an appearance and he will be accepting, he will be accepting his Hall of Fame um, award. He was supposed to have gotten it back in June at the uh, NWA anniversary show, but because of some interesting things with WWE and all of that, he could not make the appearance that night, but he will be there to accept his award um, on October the 4th, which is going to be very, very interesting, if I do say so myself. Now, next week on Wrestling Man's Wrestling Show, another look in the WWE and Raw for uh, this Monday night, plus... TNA, um, oh, the last look at the No Mercy card. Can't forget about that. Um, also, Bound for Glory, TNA, Ring of Honor, the Indies, Japan, the NWA, so much more. Now, uh, it's the Beat the Bill contest is still going on. If you haven't you know, heard about it, send me any wrestling trivia question. If I get the question wrong, you win a prize. It's that simple. Just put under your subject beat the bill uh, the second annual Survivor create your own Survivor Series contest is still going I need all your cards by October the 17th that's the deadline if you send it on October the 18th at 12.01 a.m. sorry does not count I need them by October the 17th now then uh, one more question of the week and this does concern the uh, Ted Petty Invitational, or it was known in the beginning, the Sweet Science 16 tournament. In your opinion, who has made the most success since winning the TPI? And it goes all the way back to 2000. Here are your choices as far as the winners go. Chris Hero, A. Steele, B.J. Whitmer, Danny Daniels, A.J. Styles, Matt Seidel, Low Key, or last year's winner, Mike Quackenbush. So uh, those are your picks. Eight amazing winners, but tell me who you think has made the most success since winning the uh, Ted Petty Invitational Tournament. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, shout-outs that you want to send to me, send them all to this email address, wrestlingman85 at yahoo.com here I'll put it up a little bit better so you can see it wrestlingman85 at yahoo.com and if you have Skype you can leave me a message so I can play them on your show any questions there or any comments you want to, opinions all you have to do put in wrestlingman2 that is my name under Skype and 
send me a message and I will play them hopefully here in the near future. Well, that does it for me this week, and until next week, this is Billy Yankovic saying so long from the Old Lime State.